Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 21st of 2022. Well, it is titled Sun Halo at 63 degrees north. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sun and that is looking uh, just a few days ago. And today is the day the sun is at its southerly most declination. That is when it is furthest below the celestial equator and will be lowest in the sky for those in the northern hemisphere. So this image taken from central Sweden is the sun not at sunrise, not at sunset, but actually the sun at noon. That is how high the sun gets in the sky here at the first day of winter. And in this case, only a few degrees up above the horizon. Now you'll notice this at all latitudes, uh, but it can be more extreme as you get further north when you get days with very, very little sun, sun, sunshine, because the sun is above the horizon for only a very short period of time. If you go further north above the Arctic Circle, there are actually will be more and more days where the sun never rises. It'll come up close to the horizon and you may get the glimmers of dawn on as the sky begins to brighten at noon, but the sun will never actually get up over the horizon if you go far enough north uh, at this time of year. Now here we see also the halo of the sun which occurs when ice crystals will then bend the light and give an image of the sun or image around the sun that circular uh, region around the sun that shows where the sun is and that is caused by ice crystals within our atmosphere. So something that could only be seen on a planet with an atmosphere because it is not the sun itself doing this. It is the bending of the light as it comes through the atmosphere and being scattered off of those ice crystals that gives us the halo that we see here. Now the sun is then today reaching its lowest point in the sky for those in the northern hemisphere and will start to get higher and higher in the sky over the coming months as we head from winter into spring. However, it takes some time. It doesn't change very much at this time of year. So the sun will be very low in the sky, regardless of where you are in the northern hemisphere at this point. So we will see that and you'll notice that if you look out at the sky today, regardless of where you are, and the sun will be very low in the sky for those in the northern hemisphere and very high in the sky for those in the southern hemisphere. And it will slowly change over the coming months. And you'll note that if you look at the lengths of shadow cast at noon, it will be very long right now. But if you were to do that over the course of the next few months, you would watch that shadow get shorter and shorter until it reached its shortest point on the in the middle of June when we reach the summer solstice. So today we see the near very close to winter solstice sun at noon, very, very low in the sky as imaged from central Sweden. So that was our picture of the day for December 21st of 2022. It was titled Sun Halo at 63 degrees north. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be northern spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.